you, Patriots. Today is Terrific Traveling Tuesday, October 5th. And today's my birthday. Woo! -hoo! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me and other people too. Happy birthday to my birthday twin, Kevin F. and Mrs. Epifanio's class. Special teacher birthday shout out to Miss Staley. Happy birthday. It's a great day to have a birthday. Maybe for your birthday, Mrs. Greco should take you traveling with her. Let's check out where she is this week. Take it away, Mrs. Greco. Hey Patriots, Miss Greco here for another episode of Where in the World is Miss Greco? Last week, I challenged you to figure out what state I was located in, and so many of you were able to figure it out. You guessed that I was in the country of Wisconsin, and you are absolutely correct. So this week, I am traveling somewhere warm and tropical, and no, it's not Florida. I am traveling to an island in the Caribbean. So you need to guess the name of the island in the Caribbean that I am located. This island has a main agricultural crop that is used all over the world, and that is sugarcane. So sugarcane is the main agricultural crop that is harvested in this island. The limbo dance was created on this island. So those of you who love limbo, you can thank this country. This country is also home to the biggest nesting area for leatherback turtles, which is really critically important to the environment. It is also the birthplace of Calypso music. So Miss Reed, when you play Calypso music for the kids, you can thank this country for that. And these islands were the settings for some classic novels like Robinson Crusoe and Treasure Island, as well as the Swiss Family Robinson movie. So let me repeat my clues for you. I'm in an island in the Caribbean. Now this island technically has two names, even though we're calling it one location. Its sugar, its main agricultural crop is sugarcane. The limbo dance was created here, as well as calypso music. And the island was the inspiration for the setting of some very famous classic books, like Robinson Crusoe and Treasure Island, as well as the movie Swiss Family Robinson. All right, Patriots, this one might not be so easy to figure out, but I believe, I believe that you guys can do it. So take my clues. Use a source like an expert, books or the internet, and figure out where you think I'm located. I hope everybody has a great day, and I can't wait to hear where you think I am. Thank you, Mrs. Greco. Don't forget to tell Ms. Greco your guess through email, notes, or tell her yourself if you see her in the hallways. Today is Do Something Nice Day. Teachers, we have done something nice for you. We are stocking the escape room for you. Enjoy! Patriots. Try and do something nice for at least one person today to brighten their day. We promise it will brighten your day too. Talk lunches. Today for lunch we are having PB&J to-go box, meat machine combo, game day nachos with taco meat and cheese sauce tortilla, and tortilla chips. No, let me redo that. Let's talk lunches. Today for lunch we are having PB&J to-go box, Lean Machine Combo, Game Day Nachos with Taco Meat, and Cheese Sauce and Tortilla Chips. Vegetables and fruit choices are Popeye Side Salad, Bean Dip, and Fruits, Flavored Raisins, Plain Applesauce Cup, and Fruit Juice. Woohoo! It's Science Palooza Day, too. Today is, an an is Animal Day because we are wild about science. Please enjoy. Please enjoy this quick biography on scientist Jane Goodall. Hey Patriots, day two of Science Palooza and today's theme is animals, something near and dear to my heart. Don't forget you've got activities for today both in the classroom and in the cafeteria. And as promised, because we are wild about science, I have some information about some interesting facts about science as well as meet the scientist. Have a great day.
we have found that after all, there isn't a sharp line dividing humans from the rest of the animal kingdom, as we find animals doing things that we, in our arrogance, used to think was just human. I know that they share our emotions, pleasure, joy, sadness, fear. I knew there was deforestation going on around the park, but I was not prepared for the absolute devastation. I, I couldn't just stay in Gombe, watching chimpanzees leading an idyllic life. I had to try and do whatever I could. It's not really possible to think about conservation unless you bring the people into the picture. It's where they live after all. I'm very determined. We here think globally act locally. Don't. If you think globally, you become filled with gloom. But if you take a little piece of this whole picture, my piece, our piece, this is what I can do here. I'm making a difference. And hi, wow, they're making a difference over there. And so are they. And so are they. And so gradually the pieces get filled in. And the world is a better place because of you. Today's activity is to create your own new animal species. If you complete this activity, or if you are sporting your animal print today, take a picture and send it to Ms. Greco. Today's Girls in the Run. Teachers, please send your Girls in the Run team members to the hub at 3.50. Miss, Mrs. Harris will be waiting for them there. It's that time again. Patriots, time to wrap up our news show. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And please be seated for a moment of silence. We hope you have a terrific Tuesday today, Patriots. We will see you back here tomorrow. And remember, we are living the questions. By feeding our passions. And exploring our wonders. Bye. Bye.